Hi, it's Bob Pickett. With us in the studio right now is the legendary Ray Benson. Now, yeah, see, I tell you, his height is legendary, too. I had to sit down and even <laughs> just talk to the guy. I heard something the other day, and I never knew this. I want to know about your connection with Winona Judd, and supposedly you're the one that gave her the stage name Winona. This is true. Is it really? Let me think back. What year was it? 78, 79? I don't know. Somewhere around there. Um, uh, Naomi was a nurse in L.A., and Christina, her daughter, was 13. Naomi used to come to our shows and hang out, and she was dating uh, Johnny Nicholas, our, our, our uh, piano player at the time, who owns the Hilltop Hills in Fredericksburg, in Texas. And um, so she came up to me one day. We were listening to a guy named Winoni Harris. It was an old blues singer. That's Winoni. And we also had Route 66, the song, and in the song it says, Don't Forget Winona, which right. is a little town uh, in Arizona. And so uh, she, she <laughs> uh, Naomi said, you know, uh, you know, that's a, that'd be, if you took the name Winona and said, put an A on the end, it would be like Winona. That'd be a good uh, name for a girl. And I said, well, uh, well, don't forget Winona, which is the line from Route 66. Because uh, she, that was her daughter, and she was 13 years old, and she said, I think I'll call her Winona. So that's how, little did you know at that time. Her name time. was Christina, yeah. No, they weren't singing. They weren't singing. She wanted to be a singer, but Christina, Winona, was 13 years old. She didn't sing. Fast forward five years, I swear to God, I'm watching the Today Show, uh -huh. and now a mother-daughter thing, you know, and I went, wait a minute, that's, wait, that's that girl. And they were so good. I mean, and Winona, obviously, one of the great voices of all time. You know. But yeah, that's that's the story, and that's it. That's a true story. Yeah. Now later on, they, I know they moved down to Austin, Texas. So did you see them in Austin, Texas at all? No, they never moved here. They never were in no, Austin. No, they at moved all. to. Uh, they were thinking of moving to Austin, but they moved to Nashville, Kentucky first, right? And then Nashville, and got a record deal. Wow. Yeah, they were out in California. And in fact, a place, one of the places they lived, that was in L.A., and then they moved up to Northern California to a place called Rancho Nicasio. We still play the bar in Rancho Nicasio, and uh, it's um, uh, Huey Lewis's manager owns it. Huh. It's, uh, <laughs> it's another story. Small world, but I wouldn't want to paint it. <laughs> Legendary Ray Benson, and that's the real story.